Hi, the name of this video tutorial is Blender Particles 2.49b1 Basic Controls. Blender's particle system is flexible and powerful. It can be used for simulating effects like fire, hair, fur, and rain. Particles can be emitted from any kind of mesh object. The purpose of this video is to acquaint you with the basic controls for a particle emitter. We'll use the plane, which is the simplest to show. Switch to animation view with 100 frames. Let's delete the default cube. Right click, then X, then confirm the delete. We'll add a plane. Space, add mesh plane. Subdivide the plane once with the W key and then select subdivide. Then go to the SR1 animation view. Go to the object buttons, F7, then click the particles button all the way to the right. And we'll look at the emitter type particles with the number of particles and their direction change over time. Emitters are good for animating rain and fire where raindrops and particles move over time. The hair type is for more static simulations like hair and fur. Particles are emitted from the faces of the plane. The default is 1,000 particles over 100 frames, which is 10 particles per frame. Let's increase the number of particles to 10,000. You see that they're emitting from each face by default. You can change that to emit from vertices as well as from volume. Particles are most often emitted from the normals, the direction that's perpendicular to the face. The normal setting controls how high the particles are emitted. Set the normal to 1 to show how the height is controlled. Random adds a bit of randomness to the emitting direction. You can mix normals and random ACCX, ACCY, and ACCZ can add an extra push in their respective direction. Set ACCX to 0.5, which gives a bias in the X direction of 0.5 blender units. This is good for fire and smoke effects. So press Alt A and you'll see how acceleration affects the animation. Emitting also works in the negative direction. For rain, if you float a plane above the scene and make it a particle emitter, this would be the start of a rain animation. You can increase the randomness as well. Set the normals to negative 0.5 and ACCX to negative 0.3. Properly textured, this could simulate a heavy rainstorm. Start and end are the start and end frames for the particles. Life is how long the particle lives. Increasing the life makes the particle stay around longer. The start can be negative, which means that the particles are alive at the beginning of the animation. So increase the life to 100. You'll see that when we animate, the particles stay around longer. For something like fireworks, you might want to vary the life and add some randomness to the emitter. Start can be a negative number also. A negative start number means the simulation began before the first frame is rendered, like the fire already is going when you start at frame 1. Go to frame 41 and press F12. The particles render as halos and the plane does not render. The emitter does not render by default. Now let's add a material, F5 shading, and make the particles red. R1, G is 0, and B is 0. And then press F12 to render. To change the halo effects, press the halo button in the render pipeline panel. In the shaders panel, you can change the halo size. You can also customize the halo rings, lines, and stars. So just as some examples, let's make the halo have four rings with a 0.5 halo size. And then F12 to render. 
And then we'll try a halo with size 0.1, smaller, with three stars and four lines. Many material settings can be animated. Let's look at halo size. Go to the IPO window, select the material type curves, then select HA size, which is halo size. Create an IPO curve, and the easiest way is control left click, creating points in the IPO uh, curve for halo size. This creates a bezier curve for the halo size, which will make them emit with different sizes over time. Here's the resulting video. These are basic controls for emitter type particles, which work well for fire and rain. We barely scratched the surface. I hope this gives you a good start towards understanding Blender's particle system. Happy blending!